here we are in the salt. Coming through. And somebody. All right. Disturbed. Sorry. Um, so, uh, salt, just to make it, you know, as simple as possible, this here is the highest quality, and you also have the pink Himalayan salt, which I don't see here to show you guys, but um, this is the highest quality one, and I know, you know, it can be a little pricey, um, but, you know, you want to give your body the best. You're going to be eliminating a lot of junk, and, you know, by adding some quality things, even if it costs a little more. Remember, you're saving money in other areas, too, from this lifestyle. So, um, yeah, I wish I could show you guys. It's the other brand, but it's called Himalayan. It's a pink salt, and it's actually really good. So, for now, um, this is a good one. You know, we're in the water section. A lot of plastic, plastic, plastic. Just avoid, avoid, avoid. And then just go down to the glass bottles and... Um, my favorite brand, which they actually don't have the specific one right now, but they have it in the sparkling water, um, is this Mountain Valley. And they sell the, the regular water, and it's the cleanest one out there right now, so this is why I buy it. But I say everybody do due, due diligence and see what they can find and come up with. Okay, so earlier I mentioned that um, olive oil is a really good oil but not to cook with it so if you wanted to cook you want to use coconut oil and I wanted to show you guys this um, just to give you an idea this is actually not good because and I'll tell you why because it's been unrefined if you read it even though it's organic it's it's refined it's been heated already so the value is gone um, you this is a really great brand that you can buy and this too this one is raw, it's, it hasn't been heated, um, so uh, pay attention to these two brands because it's a good one to, to keep around. And you can cook with it, you can use it after you're done, uh, it doesn't matter. And you can put it on your skin, it's a great uh, facial treatment, uh, oil pulling, which is all things that I, I could talk to you guys about. So it's a good product to have, not only in your kitchen, but also in your bathroom. Go to some of your favorite sections. <laughs> Uh, where all the meat uh, are, but um, I just want to talk really quickly if it's something that you are going to have, look out for organic, look out for things like, you know, no antibiotics, um, no hormone addicts, and things like that. The least, the better, but just remember, even the organic ones contain a little bit of GMO. It's just because it's such a small percentage that they don't tell you, but so, uh, just little things to look out for. So, dairy. Uh, we're first going to talk about milk really quick, and um, I skip all of this. I don't buy any of that because it's pasteurized and it's just it's just done. There's no value here. So um, this is the good brand. This is the only brand that I um, you know encourage everybody. If they, unless unless you make your own nuts and you you know with the milk, um, this is a good brand, and they make so many different kinds: uh, oats, hazelnut. There's almond and almond and vanilla, but remember, once they start to add uh, flavors and sweeteners, then it becomes more acidic. So you're better off just buying the regular original, and then um, you know when you're at home, just throw on like a little bit of vanilla extract or something like that, which would be better. So there you go. Here we go, yogurt, you guys. I wouldn't use any of them. Um, they've been pasteurized, they're done, they're just dead and dense and very mucus forming and anybody who has um, respiratory issues are going to experience that. Same thing with the cheeses. Um, and the cheeses you want to just get raw goat or sheep cheese. The smaller the animal, the safer you're going to be for raw. And if you must, um, get raw cow. And if you want something that's been pasteurized, you're safer to get, well it equals the same thing as um, if you get uh, goat or sheep that's been pasteurized, it will be the same thing um, equivalent to a raw cow, so um, that's what you're going to get. And then butters, um, the brand that I use is this one and you could actually cook with it and um, do different things, so it's a good one. I just wanted to touch on eggs really quick, um, and eggs, you want to make sure that it's organic it's cage free um, and then the rest is usually the same thing it's been grass fed it's really good and just remember as far as eggs um, whenever you eat it you want to eat it as whole you never want to just have 
the white part, and I know you, you know, it's probably something new, but the white alone actually contains a component that's not good on the digestive. So in order for it to go down smoothly, you're better off just having the entire egg. Or for men too, if they're looking for muscle tone, uh, you can use the, the egg yolk itself. And here on the bread, and when you get to bread, you always want to look for sprouted. This here is a good brand. This is called Alvarado's, and um, it's sprouted. And look, it comes in bagels. And then the Ezekiel brand, they make all different kinds, um, all the way from muffins to bagels to tortillas. Um, so there's just so many different, and the sliced ones, of course. So that's what you want to look for: sprouted bread. Uh, there's a really good rich one here. Is it that one, Anna? I don't know if you can see it. So. Uh, no, that's not. But you guys get the picture. So. Oh, there it is. Hannah. So yeah, although it's a little pricey, um, but this is a really rich one. And, um, yeah, sorry, it's called Mana. M-A-N-N. -N. 